Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fincal. Today, let's discuss an interesting question I got asked. Has this been the biggest bull run in the Indian stock market? Now, when I read this question, I thought, look, obviously, it's not the biggest bull run. Surely, if I plot it uh, uh, using a logarithmic graph, I should be able to find uh, uh, better bull runs in the past. But I was really surprised by the results. And before I show you the results, I just want to uh, clarify that um, I don't know how long this bull run will last. I don't know when it will end or if it has already ended. Uh, bull runs and bear runs are, are always um, determined in hindsight. So uh, every graph that you see in this video is full of hindsight bias and th there's nothing wrong in it as long as you don't make too too much of uh, you know conclusions for your future investments and so on. The, the point is that many people are scared. Uh, they are, uh, they, uh, people are saying tomorrow the bull run will end, November it will end, December it will end and so on. The fact is no one really knows. And just because the market has got, moved up a lot doesn't mean it's going to stop. No one knows what it does. That's the simple truth. And oh, of course, uh, journalists will not like it uh, if they ask you for a sound bite and you say no one knows what the market is going to do they will never come back to you because they don't want that kind that thing doesn't sell the truth doesn't sell but that's how it is so let's talk about this um, this is the sensex total returns index from august 1996 i have discounted the uh, amazing run uh, between 90 to 92 1990 to 92 that's uh, that was soiled by the harshad mehta scam the sensex ran uh, uh, ran up by 270 percent or so uh, in financial year 91 92 and then it crashed by about 47 percent but it moved up because of the scam by 270 percent but it fell down only by 47 percent so every long term return that we have seen that we are seeing today is still bearing the ghost of that scandal ghost of scandals past we are, we are still uh, being influenced by the Tasha Mehta scam uh, even today when we look at the long-term returns of the sensex so i have removed that from the uh, discussion because it's, it's i mean it, it's 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 a bull run created by a scandal so i don't want to um, you know uh, call it the biggest bull run it, it just sounds silly so when i look at this in this scale it looks like that's uh, uh, that zooms up like that. Surely, I mean, uh, there should be better, uh, you know, movements if I plot it in the log graph. Now, the advantage of plotting it in a log graph is uh, I can suppose this increase is like uh, it's about 100% or 120% approximately from here to here. Uh, I don't see that 120% somewhere here because it's all buried. It's all buried because of the scale because this movement seems so big. So the way to bring it out is to plot it in the logarithmic graph, uh, uh, logarithmic scale, not, not just the default scale. See, all charting options will give you a default log scale or in Excel also you can immediately just tick a checkbox and you'll get a log scale. Don't do that. I would suggest you take the value, take log 10 uh, value and then you plot it normally. So I have taken the log, log 10 of the Sensex total returns index and then I have plotted it normally. Uh, then you can see the, all this is in log, uh, but the point is uh, this 2 to 2.1, 2.1 to 2.2, etc. All of them measure the same amount. So suppose I draw a line here. This is the dot com uh, uh, bubble. Suppose I draw this black line from the bottom to the top here. I can move this uh, black line anywhere else and compare it with the 2008 uh, bubble or anything else here or here the recent uh, bubble uh, maybe it's a bubble maybe it's not the recent bull run whatever it is you want to call it i can easily compare so i can directly visually compare this up movement with this up movement uh one to one of course i, I it's very crude to draw a picture uh, draw a um, uh, you know line like this i've done it just on power and ms paint not PowerPoint, MS Paint, but it doesn't, I mean, it's very crude, but it still gives you an idea. So if I do those, uh, compare those two lines, you can see that this current bull run has been slightly steeper than the dot com bull, uh, bubble and it's extended for a bit longer. Uh, but the real uh, uh, comparison that I wanted to see was to compare this current bull run with this one. This is probably the uh, nice clean uh, 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 bull run 
people uh, make the mistake of saying the bull run extended from here to there that is not true because you can see those dips here huge dips that's a big correction big correction so and there are minor corrections here 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 and so on you that's why i keep saying you don't know in real time whether you are in a bull run or a bear run oh, in hindsight anybody can say that's what i am doing i'm not doing anything special but even in hindsight it is wrong to say the bull run lasted from here to there no it did not I, the, uh, the bull run only lasted from here to there and then it lasted maybe here and there are small segmented uh, segmented bull runs uh, because there were uh, uh, crashes uh, my mini corrections not me if you don't want to call them crashes in the middle so what i want to do is i want to take this segment here and plot it right on top of this one and when i do that and you can see here uh, the black uh, line is the, the the actual data with the timeline shown here but the current bull run has been superimposed and you can see here from from this point to that point the uh, the previous run was uh, more steeper so that that should qualify as the biggest bull run ever in the in the market but if you extend the uh, the date you can see that the current bull run actually is uh, is a more, lot more smoother than this correction is not seen. It's a lot more smoother. So in that sense, definitely the current bull run qualifies as one of the best bull runs that the stock market has seen. And that's really surprising. I thought, uh, I mean, I thought it was not as big uh, if I plotted in log scale. This is actually in a normalized log scale. It doesn't matter even if I plotted in a, a normal price scale, it should not, it should be more or less the same. Of course, if I know, if I make the assumption that from here to there is the big bull run and uh, uh, then you can see uh, the current bull run has got a lot of, it has, it has got a lot of distance to catch and catch up and that's not going to happen so smoothly. And also you can see the scale of the 2008 crash and see how big it crashed. It fell sharply, tried to correct, fell sharply, tried to move up, fell sharply, tried to move up, fell sharply. You can imagine how, uh, uh, I mean, scared the investors would be worldwide and uh, especially those who don't have a plan, who don't, don't have an asset allocation and so on. So uh, it's just crazy out there. But I mean, it's really surprising the the about the current bull run. No one knows how long it is it would last or whether it has already ended. Let's hope for the best with the plan of course